The purpose of this exercise is to interpret a two-dimensional orthogonal drawing into a three-dimensional isometric drawing. The additional problem to solve is the representation of cylindrical forms, the toy car tyres, represented in the same 3D system. We begin with an understanding of the orthogonal third angle projection drawing. From this drawing, we can gather proportional dimensions of the object's height, width and depth. Our first step towards converting this set of 2D drawings into a single 3D drawing is to imagine it in a drawing crate, a box. You could then do a quick rough sketch to consider any of the issues that will arise from drawing a final. Imagine the process of drawing as a cyclical one. The orthogonal drawing is our touchstone to which we return again and again to ascertain the accuracy of our drawing. We begin with the orthogonal views and determine which part of the design will be used to form our crate. In this instance, we are using the front view and the top view. Take the dimensions of those views to create an isometric 30 degree rectangular box. The crate excludes the wheels, but they could have been incorporated. We will come back to the wheels once the body of the toy car is drawn up. Once you have your crate, transfer the front view to the 30 degree crate. You will note that the seat is curved and will require tension to get it right. Use an isometric circle template, or you can freehand draw the arc with the square and cardinal points method. As you continue to develop the 3D view, regularly check against the orthogonal drawing. Now you can draw the depth lines at the same length at 30 degrees to the left. The far side of the crate will determine how far to extend the depth details. Mark off the far side of the toy car. In effect, you are joining the dots. Just be sure to keep the lines parallel. Now that the car body is done, we can turn to the wheels. When you become confident in the representation of cylindrical objects, you may not need to follow each of these steps. The front and back wheels differ in size. Take the dimensions of the wheels from the left view and the top view. Take note as to the location of the wheels. How far do they extend above and below the car body? Draw the wheel crates using the height and depth of each wheel. In order to align the two wheels, you'll need to create a 30 degree guide. Here it's represented by the broken red line. You will now need to create a set of guides to accurately position the far side wheel crates. Begin by extending the ground guides, then extend guides from the front side wheel crates. Now draw the far side wheel crates. When you draw isometrically or in perspective, circles are always represented as ellipses. Use an isometric ellipse template or use the freehand method with cardinal points. Having established the center, draw the smaller ellipse for the axle. Extend guides that represent the wheel cylinder's depth. All that is left to complete the drawing is to darken or fine line the lines you are going to keep and the lines you are going to erase. We've almost forgotten to do one more thing, that is to draw the headlights, which are recesses in the left view, whose depth is shown as a broken line in the top view and front view.